So, super badge array and the fitting. With the covered cutting all the parts out. So here we've got fronts and rears and side parts all kit, cut and ready to go. And here we've got a nice box for a super badge array. I'm taking the body off and I'm taking the wheels off. So the fenders are ready to fit onto this. Now, the first job is to connect the left and right hand parts together. So if we do this side first. So we've got a front there, a rear there. Inside edge, because these two holes which bolt through into the base of the chassis, the thinner edge is the rear as it comes up and that's to clear the suspension. So the rear part's going to connect onto there, the front part's going to connect onto there, and you can see that the chamfer that we left there just runs into the other part, and then the body will sit nicely on top of that to, 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 to stop any muck getting through. So we're going to get those holes properly. We've got the assembly pack that you'll have with your fenders. We've got a load of little M3 by 8 screws and nuts. You've got a two and a half nine to drill, which we'll come to later. And you've got six zip ties. So let's get these out. Do the front part first. And line the holes up. Just go to there. In fact, washers. And we eight washers in the kit. Washer on the back. See that? Maybe three nuts. Some today. There we go. T socket. So that's one side ready to go on the car. So the fenders go on this side, the set of parts go on the outside. And these bits of 
wait. First thing to do was actually That should hold it nice and flat to the bottom of the chassis. That part's done. And then the first tip tie. You'll see there's two holes on the inside. Bring the camera around to show you that. So there's two holes here. The zip tie is going to go through. That goes across part of the chassis on the inside. Just to also hold that into place. and secure on there now. And the rear part, we've got two screws at the back there. Let's go out. So there's the two screws. We also mount chassis brace and when you fit the chassis brace and um, we're not going to fit it this time the chassis brace is great grade two stops the rear end flopping around and my car's out of carbon fiber which is nice and light i see what i'll be doing is adding yet more weight to the back of this chassis Two, those two screws there. It's already pretty secure, but then I've got another zip tie. It's just going to go in the back there.
kind of passing the zip ties in from the back so that the head of the zip ties on the inside much neater to do is zip ties through the two little holes at the front here into there and zip tie that back to the chassis frame and then press the zip tie through the back again And then what we're going to do is screw through back to that chassis plate. And so we need to drill the chassis plate through for the screws. Now there's only really access for three of the four holes. And we've been testing with just the three holes um, screwed in and they're absolutely fine. Um, you can drill the fourth hole if you want to take the steering knuckle off or if when you take the fenders back off at some point, you can take the little plate off with it and then drill it and put nuts on the back. But we've been testing it with just three screws in because they're easy to drill. So with a three mil drill, we're just going to drill through those three holes. So just be careful when you're drilling not to shove the drill through and damage parts on the other side. Just take a little bit of care there, guys. There's the three screws in. That fourth one, like I say, you take the steering knuckle off, you can get to it, access to it with a drill. It's just a little bit tricky without taking that off. So we're going to leave it off this time. If you've got OCD and you hate that, by all means get stuck in, take that off, get in there with the drill, or take that inner plate off with a fender, and you'll be able to get that fourth screw in. That's it. Thanks guys.